In this video, we are going to be solving a nice algebra problem x plus y equal to 5, xy equal to 50. How do we solve for x and y? Solution From this first equation, if we move y to the right hand side, we are going to have x equal to 5 minus y. Now, let us replace this x with 5 minus y so that means we have 5 minus y times y equal to 50 5 times y that is 5y minus y times y that is minus y square equal to 50 this means that y square minus 5y plus 50 is equal to 0 by rearranging this equation we have this you will observe that this quadratic equation is not factorizable so let us solve it using quadratic formula which is y equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a from this equation a is equal to 1 b is minus 5 c is equal to 50 so we have y equal to minus what is b b is minus 5 plus or minus square root of b square that will be minus 5 or squared minus 4 a a is 1 into 1 into what is c c is 50 close the brackets divided by 2 what is a a is equals to 1 into 1 so y equal to minus times minus 5 that is 5 plus or minus square root of minus 5 all square that is 25 minus 4 times 1 times 50 that is 200 everything divided by 2 times 1 that is simply 2 y equal to 5 plus or minus square root of 25 minus 200 that is minus 175 everything divided by 2 y equal to 5 plus or minus square root of negative 175 could be written as square root of 175 times square root of negative 1 divided by 2 y equal to 5 plus or minus square root of 175 but we know that from the complex number square root of negative 1 is simply i so we have i here divided by 2 let us proceed further y is equal to 5 plus or minus Square root of 175 could be written as square root of 25 times square root of 7 times i divided by 2. y is equal to 5 plus or minus. What is square root of 25? That is simply 5 times square root of 7i divided by 2. This implies that y is equal to this old guy is the same thing as writing 5 over 2 plus or minus 5 root 7i over 2. So y is either equal to 5 over 2 plus 5 root 7i over 2 or y equal to consider the negative sign. So we have 5 over 2 minus 5 root 7i over 2. Thus, we have two values for y. We can then use these two values to obtain the value of x. Since x is equal to 5 minus y. Let me show you where we got this from. It's basically from this line. Let's continue. What we do now is to consider each value of y when 
y is equal to this first 5 over 2 plus 5 root 7i over 2 what is x let's just plug in this value here so we have x equal to 5 minus 5 over 2 plus 5 root 7i over 2 x equal to 5 minus times 5 over 2 that is minus 5 over 2 minus times plus that is minus 5 root 7i over 2 x is equal to the lcm here is 2 so we have 2 over 2 divided by 1 that is 2 2 times 5 we have 10 minus 2 divided by 2 that is 1 1 times 5 we have 5 minus 2 divided by 2 that is 1 1 times 5 root 7i that is just 5 root 7i so x is equal to 10 minus 5 we have 5 minus 5 root 7i divided by 2 x equal to this old guy can be written as 5 over 2 minus 5 root 7i divided by 2 this is the value of x does the first solution x comma y is equal to our x is this 5 divided by 2 minus 5 root 7i divided by 2 comma and the value of y is let me show you this is y 5 divided by 2 plus 5 root 7i divided by 2 now let us consider the other value of y which is when y is equals to 5 over 2 minus 5 root 7i over 2 let's manage this side when y is equal to 5 divided by 2 minus 5 root 7i divided by 2 what we need to do is just to plug in this value into this equation so we have x equal to 5 minus 5 divided by 2 minus 5 root 7i divided by 2 x is equal to 5 minus 5 over 2 minus times minus that is plus 5 root 7i over 2 x is equal to similarly the lcm here is also 2 2 divided by 1 that is 2 2 times 5 10 minus 2 divided by 2 that is 1 1 times 5 we have 5 plus 2 divided by 2 that is 1 1 times 5 root 7 high we have 5 root 7 high so x is equal to 10 minus 5 that is simply 5 plus 5 root 7 i over 2 x is equal to this old guy could be written as 5 divided by 2 plus 5 root 7 i divided by 2 thus the second solution is also s comma y equal to our x is this 5 divided by 2 plus 5 root 7i divided by 2 while the value of y is simply this guy 5 divided by 2 minus 5 root 7i divided by 2 these are the two solutions required but let's verify if these solutions are indeed correct verify using equation 1 x plus y equal to 5 let's verify the first solution this is our x this is our y so plugging it here we have 5 over 2 minus 5 root 7i over 2 plus our y is all of this 5 over 2 plus 5 root 7i 
over 2. This is now equal to, you will see that minus 5 root 7 high over 2 plus 5 root 7 high over 2, that is 0. We are left with 5 over 2 plus 5 over 2, which is equals to 10 over 2. And what is 10 over 2? That is just 5. This is exactly what we have on the right hand side of this equation. Thus, indeed, the first solution is correct. Let's verify the second solution also. This is x, y, this is y. Plugging it into this left hand side, we also have 5 over 2 plus 5 root 7i over 2 plus y, that is this, 5 over 2 minus 5 root 7 high over 2. This now equal to, similarly, 5 root 7 high over 2 minus 5 root 7 high over 2, that is 0. We are left with this guy and this. So 5 over 2 plus 5 over 2 equal to 5 plus 5, 10. The SEM is 2. 10 divided by 2, that is also 5. This is exactly what we have on the right hand side of this equation also. Thus, indeed, the second solution is also correct. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. Please share your tips. Uh, please tell me if this video was helpful and subscribe to my channel. I would love to see you in my other videos as well. Have a good one.